Hey there, my name is Mallory and I'm here with All About Cats. In this week's video we're going to be talking about cat harnesses, going over what you're going to want to look for when you're choosing a cat harness, and reviewing my top five recommendations for the best harnesses you can buy. So let's jump into it. So cat harnesses are a pretty interesting topic. I've been pretty involved in the cat harness market since about 2013 when I started working on um, a project to start a company selling cat harnesses. The company is no longer uh, really active, but while it was active and I was working with the company, I had the opportunity to learn quite a bit about the cat harness market. Back in 2013, when I first got involved in this area, there really were not that many good cat harnesses out there. Uh, for the most part, nobody was really walking their cats. It's become a lot more popular over the last several years. And when they did walk their cats, people would very often have to go for a small dog harness, which is not the same and it doesn't accommodate a cat's body and it makes the whole experience of walking much more uncomfortable. Since then, again, walking your cat has become a lot more popular and a lot more companies are making good cat-specific harnesses that meet the requirements of a good harness for a cat. And so I would say that those requirements are, one, it should have a longer body because cats have longer torsos than dogs do, and this is going to allow the harness to fit comfortably without digging into the armpits. Secondly, the harness should come up on your cat's neck. A lot of dog harnesses and some cat harnesses kind of sit low on the shoulders and this increases your cat's ability to wriggle out of the harness. Of course, a harness is never a complete security solution, but it should kind of come up on the neck a little bit um, to keep your cat secure. And thirdly, a cat harness like a dog harness or any other product that you're purchasing for a pet should be made from lightweight, comfortable materials that are going to stand the test of time. And so all of the products that I'm going to be reviewing here have those qualities and should be a good fit for just about any cat, um, but I will be specifying which type of person and which type of cat is probably going to get the most out of each of them. So with that introduction out of the way, let's jump into my top five recommendations for the best cat harnesses you can buy. My number one recommendation for the best cat harness on the market is the Sleepy Pod Martingale Harness. First of all, this is a Sleepy Pod product. If you're familiar with the Sleepy Pod lineup, you'll know that this company is known for making excellently designed, high quality products for cats who travel. And the Sleepy Pod Martingale Harness is no exception to this rule. When I purchased and tested out this harness, I was really pleased with the design and the care that was put into this harness. It has a lot of really nice, thoughtful features that make it kind of an all around, all purpose harness that's going to be a good choice for pretty much any cat. So first things first, it has this nice, um, jacket or vest style design that wraps around your cat's waist and then also wraps around your cat's neck. You're able to place it over the top of your cat rather than having them step into it or slide their head through the neck hole and that's going to make it a lot easier to put on. So I like that um, basic design. In addition to this, it is a martingale harness. So if your cat reaches the end of the leash and there's some resistance, it's going to tighten up ever so slightly around the shoulders, which is the most important point uh, to tighten up on when a cat is in a harness. That combined with the highly adjustable neck and adjustable waist um, makes this a nice secure uh, choice. I like how the Velcro neck strap is stitched so that you can cut it to fit your cat perfectly. Again, these are just some nice design features that I'm not seeing in a lot of other harnesses and which make it a very adjustable and customizable option uh, and allow you to get a really, really good fit for your cat. So overall, I really like this harness. I'm very excited to have discovered it. Um, I think it's going to be a good all-purpose harness that you can take pretty much anywhere and use with pretty much any cat. So it comes in three sizes, small, medium, and large. I found that these sizes uh, are pretty accurate based on the size chart, and it's available in five different colors. It doesn't come with a leash, but you can purchase a coordinating leash from the Sleepy Pod store, and the harness itself costs $32.99. And our next recommendation is going to be a good option if you want something that prioritizes security above all else. So I think that our first recommendation, the Sleepy Pod, is a pretty secure option, but a lot of people who really prioritize security are going to opt for the Kitty Holster. 
Now, if you've been researching the cat harness market, you'll have heard of the Kitty Holster. It's one of the most well-regarded harnesses on the market, and I think it was kind of one of the first to really emphasize security by employing this vest style or jacket style design. So it has a butterfly shape that allows you to place the harness over your cat's back and then Velcro it around their neck and waist. Although I got the size small, medium, which seems to be a good match for Wessie, I think that the neck part might have been a little bit too big for him. I'm not entirely sure. It just seems like it went really high up on his neck, kind of up to his chin. That seemed a little bit uncomfortable, um, but I've seen pictures of cats in customer reviews who look like they got a little bit of a better fit. Another nice thing about the kitty holster is that it distributes pressure pretty evenly across your cat's body, so if you do have to tug at the leash, it's going to have a nice distributed pressure across your cat's body rather than digging in at any point. So it's a good option in terms of security and comfort. So if you're someone who is really looking for a nice secure harness that's going to be fairly comfortable and which is going to be, again, really difficult for your cat to get out of, then I would consider the Kitty Holster. It's available in five different sizes so you can get a really good fit and it comes in 20 different colors. So if you want something that allows you to get uh, exactly the pattern and shade that you like, then the Kitty Holster is going to be a good option for you. I don't think I've seen this many color options in any other harness. The Kitty Holster costs $26.95. My next recommendation is going to be a good option if you're looking for something more budget friendly, uh, but you want the same nice design that's going to be secure and comfortable for your cat. And that recommendation is from Pup Tech. So it is Pup Tech's dog and cat harness. While it is marketed for both dogs and cats, I find that this harness has a very cat friendly design. So like I mentioned earlier, it has a relatively long torso proportionally. So it gives your cat plenty of room around the armpits. And it has a nice adjustable design with a combination of Velcro around the waist and neck and an adjustable strap and buckle uh, at the neck. When I used this harness on my cat Wessie, he seemed, again, quite comfortable wearing the harness. Everything is nicely proportioned and fits his body pretty well. Because this harness comes with a leash, is available in a nice variety of sizes and shades, and cost just $11.99. I think it's going to be a good beginner's harness um, for people who don't really want to spend a lot of money on their cat's harness and want to get something that's a nice budget-friendly option. Now, if on the other hand, you are not prioritizing security and you just want a little lightweight harness, uh, I would recommend the Come With Me Kitty harness and bungee leash. This is a really popular option. You may have seen it at Petco or PetSmart. It's a lightweight little nylon webbing harness with a bungee leash that tightens a little bit similar to the martingale design on the sleepy pod mentioned earlier and gives you a little bit of extra control. When I tried out the Come With Me Kitty harness on Forest, it seemed like she was pretty comfortable with it, but I can't say that she loved it. She do doesn't really love any harness. Because the harness leaves so much open space, I think it's going to be a little bit easier for cats to escape from compared to a jacket or vest style harness. Um, but if that's not your priority, then the PetSafe Come With Me Kitty is a nice affordable option. It comes bundled with a nice little bungee leash and it can be a good choice for light use. So my next and final recommendation is going to be a good option if you take your cat out on a leash pretty often and you're not prioritizing security quite so much, um, but you want something that's really comfortable. And in that case, I would recommend the RC Pats Adventure Kitty Harness. So I discovered this harness a few years ago and I've been pretty excited to share it with everyone because I just really like its design. Now it's not going to be for everyone. Their primary collection, uh, requires that you slip the neck over your cat's head, which can be kind of uncomfortable for some cats. So the version in this video is from the primary collection and you're going to have to slip it over your cat's head before buckling the waist strap. That being said, they recently came out with a new design that has buckles on both the waist and the neck, which is going to make it easier to put on to a cat and a little bit more comfortable. So regardless of which version you choose, it's going to have this padded mesh uh, little chest piece and then webbing straps that attach the whole harness to your cat's body. 
So the chest piece and neck sit pretty high up above your cat's shoulder, so it's a fairly secure fit. It's not the most secure harness, but it's a nice step up above a lot of the other harnesses on the market. Both of my cats have RC Pets Adventure Kitty harnesses. You may have seen it in some previous videos. And when I tried it out with Forrest for the sake of this video, she seemed pretty comfortable with it. She was a little bit nervous about wearing a harness and going outside in general, so she didn't love it. Um, but I think that compared to some of the other harnesses she's tried, she feels the most comfortable in this one. The harness is available in six colors and patterns, and it comes with a matching leash, which is a really nice touch. So the RC Pets Adventure Kitty harness costs $27.35, so again, it's a moderately priced harness. So that's it for my review of the best harnesses you can buy. Again, I've tried a lot of cat harnesses over the years, and these are the ones that I think uh, are performing the best. All of them tend to fit the feline form pretty well and provide some combination of security and comfort and control that I think are going to appeal to different types of people in different ways but all of which are performing on a higher level compared to the competition. If you're interested in trying any of these products for yourself, check out the video description. There will be links to all of them. You'll also find a link to the written version of this review, which goes into a lot more detail on all of these products. And you'll also get a link to our guide on training your cat to walk on a leash. That's going to be a really important next step if you haven't done it already. You're going to want to train your cat to wear the harness and walk on a leash so that you can actually have some fun with this. So I hope that you find all of those resources helpful. If you have any more questions about cat harnesses or walking your cat or requests for future videos, as always, let me know about it in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So if you found this video helpful and you're interested in more buyer's guides, product reviews, and information on all things cats, please subscribe to the All About Cats channel and click that notification bell so that you never miss an upload. Thank you so much, and until next week's video, see you later.